Hello, this is a tutorial for multi-level pointers using the Cheat Engine Debugger and I'm using the Cheat Engine tutorial that comes with it as an example. So I've got the tutorial open here and I'll just open the process in Cheat Engine. Now the multi-level pointer step is step 8 so my password to get to step 8 is 525927. I don't know I don't know if your, your one will be the same, but that's what mine is. So I'm not going to, I'm not going to read all of that. You can read it if you want to follow me when you're doing it. So first we look for that value there, 1191, 1191, and it's on four bytes, exact value. And there it is. I found if you change it a couple of times, then it will usually be the only one that you'll find. So you want to go in the process of finding just a normal pointer. So you want to find out what writes to this address. Find out what writes to address, attach the debugger, yes. Then you change the value again and there the instructions popped up. It's basically saying move the value of ESI plus 18 into wherever it goes EX. Now you can double click this instruction and you'll get this window up and it says the value of the pointer needed to find this address is probably blah 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 which is ESI because ESI is in the box with the offset 18 but ESI is also there which is also there so that just saves time rather than opening that box and you can see the offset and everything there as well so what you do is you copy where the pointer should be. You can close that again. And then new scan, make sure you tick the hex box and just paste that ESI in there. Make sure it's on four bytes. First scan and there you've got a few addresses. Sometimes you can get one or sometimes you can get hundreds. But Usually it's the one that's closest resem that's got a close resemblance to the address that you've already got. So there, the closest one on this address is that one. On some tutorials I've seen, it'll say you add address manually and make it a pointer. And do it in there, you, you put the offset in there and manually type that address in, but I'm not going to do that. I think this way is better. Just double click it to put it into your cheat list. And double click it at the address, copy the address ok then go back to your ad original address and make that the pointer so click pointer and then paste your address in there and add the offset so you've pasted the address of the pointer that you've just got into your first one then ok so basically you've made your first address the pointer that you've just got but so we can find the next pointers we'll leave that one like that so what we do now is we need to find what writes or what accesses this address. So right click what accesses this address. Change the value and there it's the top one. And I know it's the top one because both of them are ESI, ESI which is saying you put the value of whatever is in in the address ESI in ESI which makes no sense so it's the top one. And the offset doesn't have an offset, offset is zero down ESI there it is and that's these are all in hex that you need to search remember so new scan paste that in there first scan and there we go the closest resemblance to the first address 263B44 so just double click on that again and it's the same process you just open that up copy that address of that second pointer edit the edit your first address you got again so you paste the new point and address in there, but you need to add another offset. And when you do this with Cheat Engine, these go back to front. So you need to put 18 at the top and 0 at the bottom, because it works backwards. And you'll see, you'll see why soon. At the end, I'll show you why. Now you just repeat the process. So what what access is that address? And you can close that one as well. So change the value again, and there we go. Top one again. Got the value in EX, not the the same value and the same value. Basically, you're adding 14 
going to that address but it doesn't work so ESI again just copy that new scan and hex just paste that in there now here we run into a wee bit of trouble because they're all really similar I'll just take a wee guess I'll just take that one and let's see what happens if it doesn't work you can just do it again so you copy that address okay and you put it in the pointer address and the offset for that one was 14 so add offset so that's at the bottom remember so 14 was last then it was nothing then it was 18 and there we go so that was right change the value make sure that changes yes so let's find out what writes or what access is this one so change the value mm, nothing so what we need to do is go backwards this is just in case this does happen there might be a quicker way of doing this but in case there's not this is the only way I'd say to do it and then we can delete that address and then try another one so we'll copy that address put it in here add the offset 14 and make sure these are in order so the first the first one you do has to go for the top of the offset so it'll go 18, 0, 14 the next one C so you'll find out that soon now let's find out what access is this address now there we go as you can see the offset is Z O C C so ESI again no I'll do it this way just so there is other ways this is a longer way of doing it but you can do it this way new scan X is O one seven E C O six eight first scan and there it's right there the new green address we've got and sometimes you'll get more than one green address coming up but it's the green address you want because it's static so it doesn't change but this is definitely the one and you'll notice that when you double click this one it's not got a regular format address it's tutorial blah 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 exe plus then that so you just, same process again, copy onto your first one you made and that's the address in there and the other offset was C and you go backwards again 14, 0, 18 and now why remember I, I said why this sort of went backwards because we're working from the address here so the offset from that address is C so it's working up the way from the bottom so then the offset for the next one was 14 then 0 then 18 so it has to work that way so ok close that again now you can change the values now I'll change the pointer to show you it works see the values change there 3637 3637 change value now change pointer again and there it's changed change value and to pass you just change the value to 5000 freeze it change pointer and the next will show up now in games where you change the pointer I don't know how you change the pointer in a game just to find you'd really just restart the game or get to a loading point that will usually change the pointer if it's a multi level pointer but I hope you found this tutorial helpful it is relatively simple once you know how to do it and it's quite an easy way of doing it if you ask me thanks for watching